go, breaking family. I told you it was going to happen. What in the world? Do I have a 100% complete Pokemon Paradox Rift set? Well, today we're gonna find out by building our Pokemon Paradox Rift binder. Let's get started. So the binders that I'm currently using are made by BCW and they are the Z Folio LX binders. And they hold over 300 cards. So this is gonna be perfect for like any Pokemon set. Now the first step is to gather up all of our Paradox Rift Pokemon cards and then start sorting all the cards out by type. Grass with the grass, fire with the fire, trainers with the trainers. Now while I'm doing this, I make sure that I set all the reverse hollows off to the side. And then of course, all the ultra rares are better in another pile. And then once you're done sorting, it's time to start adding in the cards to the binder. Super helpful tip when building a Pokemon card binder, Get yourself a set list before you start. I'm gonna be using the Paradox Rift checklist from the Elite Trainer Box. And I'm actually trying out something new with this set. I'm taking a Sharpie and putting an X through all the double rares or better that I've already pulled. I'm very much a visual person, so it helps me to have pictures of the cards and then put Xs through them. And then I kind of remember what I need and what I don't need. But something different might work for you better. The first card in the set is Surskit. So we're starting off with that one and I am building mine in numerical order. Now remember there's absolutely absolutely no wrong way to build a Pokemon card binder. Whatever way makes you the most happy and you have the most fun with, that's the way to go. Don't let anybody tell you any differently. Now the next step, and it's easily one of my most favorite steps, is adding in the reverse hollows. So for me personally, what I like to do is I like to take the reverse hollows and put them on top of the regular version. That way when you flip through the entire binder, everything is pretty much shiny. And I love shiny cardboard. Oh, I know you do too, Psyduck. Now an interesting thing you'll notice with this set is the Ancient and Future Pokemon Pokemon cards have a different hollow foil pattern. They actually look really, really good. The next up is a lot of people's favorite step is gonna be adding in all of your double rares and higher. Super quick breakdown of the rarity system. Two black stars is a double rare. Two gray stars is an ultra rare. One gold star is an illustration rare. Two gold stars is a special illustration rare. And three gold stars are your hyper rares. Obviously hyper rares are gonna be your highest rarity out of all of them. Now it's time to start adding in all of those ultra rares and those special special illustrations, those gold cards, obviously making sure that you're paying attention to not put in a card in a spot where it does not go. Trust me, there's no worse feeling than building an entire binder and realizing that you didn't leave a spot for a card and now you have to redo the entire binder. That's worse than someone taking the last slice of pizza. Trust me. It's happened to me many times. And there we have it, Breaking Family. The Paradox Rift Pokemon card binder is officially built. It is officially time to add in another Pokemon card binder into our Pokemon card library. In this Pokemon card library, there is a card binder for every single English Pokemon card set ever released. And one of the big adventures here on this channel is to document trying to get every single Pokemon card. Whether it be opening up packs, trading, going to garage sales, going to flea markets, going Going to card shows, whatever it may be, we are trying to document getting every single Pokemon card. So I think we need to go do some Pokemon trading. Here we are at the Danger Room in Anderson, Indiana. It's currently Pokemon League night, so we're gonna go inside and see if we can do some Paradox Rift trading. Look at this, we got some goodies for coming to Pokemon League. We got the exclusive Oddish. Now you have to attend a Pokemon League to get this. You can see it is a promo. So that's where they're at, Pokemon Leagues. And we got these nice little dice bag right here. How adorable. So we're looking through none other than Paul's binder. Paul's always got something I feel like that I need. And uh, he does have some Paradox Rift all the way back here. Actually, a bunch that I need, like this Garchomp, this Golosopod, uh, Toxtricity, I think maybe that Hoopa, this other Golosopod right over here, Magby, uh, Altaria. There's a bunch. He's He's got a bunch in here that I need to try to trade for. So he's currently looking in my binder. He's already picked out a couple things, but he's looking through my binders to see what we can find here. We're about to check off some on our list right here. You see at the X's through here. So I'm gonna take this uh, beat up Matang. It's in rough shape, but it needs a good home. That's obviously not Paradox Rift. Uh, this is what you've selected out right here. You get the Sudowoodo, you get the Roaring Moon. And then in return, I'm getting the Altaria EX. We got the Golosopod EX. We got the Hoopa EX Full Art. Toxtricity EX, there's a lot of cards in this set. Magby, okay. Illustration Rare, we got the Full Art, and we got the Full Art Garchomp EX. So do we have ourselves a deal with 
the beat up Matang? Absolutely. It's a deal. I was going through another binder right here and happened to notice at the very start of the binder, even though I'm going towards the back of the binder, I'm just showing you kind of like everything that's in here. But right up here, more Pico, more Peco, Paradox Rift. And you've picked out the Garboder and the Cleffa right there. So we're going to do that one for those two officially a deal. Yep. Boom, it's a deal. <laughs> we got a big card right here in another binder. We got the Iron Valiant EX Special Illustration. Now that is a big one. It's a big one. Is it up for trade? Yes. All right, you have acquired a pile of cards here. We got the Secret Rare Basic Energy. We got Charizard V-Star from Brilliant Stars. We got the Secret Rare Grass Energy from Fusion Strike. Reshiram and Charizard GX from Unbroken Bonds back in the Sun and Moon era. We got Rainbow Kindler, which I think I just pulled like a week ago or so. And then we have Mega Charizard EX from Evolution. So all of those for that one Iron Valiant EX that I will probably end up pulling in like the next five packs that I open up. Is that a deal? It's a deal. <laughs> Boom, it's a deal. That's for you. Well, thank you. That's for you, my friend. That's all yours. It's all beautiful. yours. It's a beautiful card. I appreciate it. I got a brute bonnet from somebody. Not too. Uh, that's <laughs> well, true. Not that that's an even trade or anything. Well, I'm no, just. But I, there you go. I appreciate it. No, no problem. You know thank what? You. People love seeing you in episodes. Okay. Literally, the comments were saying, I love the Mark episodes. Mm -hmm. So, I, I love all of them. So, all and of you. and a lot of people have been asking, what's your channel name? Yes. So, so Mark Jasmine. Point right over there. You you got a point. Yeah, there we go. And okay. then we'll have we'll have John put it up there. All right. We got maybe <laughs> maybe big trades going on over here. Possibly six binders sitting on the table. <laughs> Noticing some paradox rift over here that I need. You know that. That Roaring Moon looks pretty cool. That's, that's all I'm saying. That one, that one looks pretty cool. I mean, weirdly enough, I need all four of those. That's so weird. <laughs> so weird. This is my Charizard right here that I pulled from the Dollar General Pokemon 10. If you didn't see that video, it was wild. Um, but I think that might be getting traded off here soon, shortly, maybe. Maybe someone is going to get it. <laughs> Who will get it though? three-way trade situation going on here because there is some there's some vintage goodness i know we're focusing on paradox rift but i need some of this vintage goodness right here but you got paradox rift over here and you need the charizard but the charizard's going to have to go to him for the roaring moon and then you're going to have to trade the charizard to him right okay so so let me get this straight here so uh, for the entire entire breaking family watching here so these three cards right here for all of these we've factored in condition so all of these right here some vintage pokemon cards so those for those is that is that good yes okay all right so the the mewtwo ex and the hidden fates charmeleon for these three from paradox rift right the garganacle and the blitzel we got this uh this thing falling from the sky <laughs> <laughs> mini <-er. laughs> the, the the mini -er, yeah and then charizard v alternate art for the special illustration roaring moon ex the big one from the paradox rift set does that work for everybody here we go yeah because that's that's got to go there eventually right on that page okay so is it a deal yeah. boom it's a deal all right, Pokemon League is over. I have a gift from uh, from Angel here. Look at this. All the way back from the year, I think 2000, right? Maybe the year 2000? This is uh, Burger King. <laughs> All the Burger King meal stuff. Look at this. Pokemon Power 3D Action Cards. And this is the box that it was shipped in and some of the, uh, the original Burger King meal stuff is still inside of this box so i can i can literally just have this oh nice is it bad that i'm more excited about the box I <laughs> oh i love this so much i love this it's gonna go perfect with uh with my other <laughs> boxes at home <laughs> thank you i appreciate it now i figure since we're trying to complete the entire set stop by the store grab some booster packs to open up and look at this 20 percent off right now now as you can see they don't have a lot of paradox rift in stock they got some single packs right over here they even have some three packs so i'm thinking maybe grab a couple three packs let's get one of each uh each promo 
if they, oh, there we go. Boom, one of each promo. And then maybe like a couple of packs, yeah. right? I think, I say go I for think it. you should one pick them each. out. One of each, no. I've always had the luck. Okay, so this go one, with that one, go with one, that one, and that, that one. one. One more. One more? Go with one more. There you go. <laughs> okay, so this is what we'll get. We'll add it to the other Pokemon Paradox Rift opening that we're gonna do on top of this and uh, see if we can't finish off that binder. All right, Breaking Family, back here in the studio. And you know I didn't forget it. What is up, my Breaking Family? Sending some positive vibes in your direction. Right now, you are looking at my entire Pokemon Paradox Rift card binder. Obviously, I am missing some cards, but that is what a journey is all about. And we're gonna go on a journey to try to collect every single card here on this channel. You and me both, Breaking Family, we are missing a total of 53 cards. So let's dive right into today's Pokemon card opening, starting off with the Paradox Rift three packs. Now we're hoping to at least pull a few cards that we need for our set right here. We've done some trading at our local Pokemon League at the Danger Room in Anderson, Indiana. That's the card shop that I grew up with when I was a kid. Like literally base set Pokemon cards. That's where I went bought Pokemon cards, played the game, hung out with friends. That's the exact same card shop that I went to then, and that's the exact same one that I go to now. So it's really nice to just still still have that shop around. Woo, already breaking family. Starting off with an Armor Rouge EX full art goodness right there. Woo, put that in the filing cabinet right back there. And that is a card that we need 52 cards left. Now that's all double rares or better. Whoop. Right up there in the VIP section. I think I spit everywhere. That's all right, we're leaving it in the video, which means we can officially add the VIP ropes with the all you can eat bagel bites. That's right, the all you can eat bagel bites that's always served in the VIP section, nothing else. Sausage, pepperoni, combination cheese, they're all there. Grab yourself a paper plate and a napkin. Go ahead, have yourself some bagel bites. You're VIP as well. We have an Onyx right there, which I believe is now available in Pokemon Sleep, which I am currently like obsessed with Pokemon Sleep. I mean, I do like to sleep, so that's probably uh, another reason why I am obsessed with it, but it's just a fun little game to play throughout the day on your phone. Uh, I love it. I'm having a good time with it. I just recently got a shiny Mime Jr. Uh, last week, and in the same week, I, I'm getting ready to tell him. Yeah, I know. I mean, I was excited about it, too. You were right here when it happened. Shiny Psyduck. That's right. I got a shiny Psyduck in Pokemon Sleep, and I was literally through the moon, over the moon, and through the moon, pulling, or not pulling, <laughs> getting that shiny Psyduck. Obviously, as you can tell, I love Pokemon cards because everything's pulling at this point. <laughs> All right, but anyways, yeah, I don't know. If you if you haven't played it, definitely uh, check it out. And it doesn't cost anything to play. I've literally not put any money into the game at all. So, I don't know, it's just a fun little game to play. No, the, Tauros is not in it yet. What, what, I, I don't know, I didn't make the game. You're gonna have to talk to them, not me. I No, I didn't tell them not to put it in there, but if if I did have a say, I would probably say, let's go ahead and leave Tauros out. It's just, it, it, not, not, a, not a high demand Pokemon is all I'm saying. We got a Lipard Brute Bonnet, which is one of the uh, ancient Pokemon right there. Energy, put it in the filing cabinet right back. I'm just saying, I'm just saying it's not, it's not a high demand Pokemon. If you were to if you were to rank all the Pokemon, I, I just don't feel like Tauros would be at the top. It, no, it definitely wouldn't be number one. What are you, I know, I, I yeah, I don't agree. Crystal, Onyx, well, it definitely wouldn't be Ducklet. I don't, I can't believe you would say that. I can't believe you would say that. Norman, going into Absol, and a Garganackle for the rare, which I don't know why, but like, kind of obsessed with Garganackle a little bit. I, I'm pretty sure I'm saying the name right. Kind of obsessed with it. it uh, Garganackle's been on my Scarlet and Violet uh, team, and uh, it's really helpful. So, I, I guess maybe that's why I'm kind of obsessed with it. Dairy Queen. Going into a crowbat, fly away, not really a bird. And what is a bat? Is it a mammal? Not Definitely not a reptile. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, it's kind of a bird, right? Wimpod and an Agislash EX. We already have one, so that is gonna go in my trade binder. So next time I go to my local Pokemon League or an event, I'll have my trade binder with me. Whoop. Right up there in the VIP section. Going into the packs that Marie picked out, 
at Meyer, they were 20% off in question of the day. We're about to have an argument. It's about to get heated in the comments. I can feel it already. You ready for this? Cereal. All right, now I've asked this before and there is one correct answer to it. And I feel like a lot of you are gonna say the wrong answer. Cereal. Do you pour your milk first or do you pour the cereal first? Now me, I do it the correct way. Milk first and then the cereal on top of it. And here's why. Here's why you get the maximum crunch potential with each bite, right? You have that thin layer. It's not soaking up, right? It's not sitting there for, for minutes on end and the cereal is soaking up all the milk and then it's soggy. Nobody likes soggy cereal, okay? That's just gross. That's disgusting. I'm telling you, this is the way to do it. It's the maximum cr uh, crunch potential with every single bite of your cereal, the maximum crunch potential by doing a thin layer of cereal right on top of that milk and you just you take the box with you and you don't overdo it right just a just a nice regular amount and you just kind of nicely pour a thin layer every single time right on top until the milk is gone I'm telling you it'll change your world because I know a lot of people are doing it the wrong way and they're doing the cereal first and then the milk all right this is 2023 milk first and then cereal I'm telling you I'm telling you it's gonna change your world and you'll thank me later You'll thank me later, but I gotta know down in the comment section, milk first or cereal first, what are you doing? Energy, put that in the filing cabinet. All right, Marie did not pick out the best <laughs> booster packs, and usually Marie is always on a streak, but it's probably because she needs to open them up herself, uh, and that's how all the good luck gets delivered. We got Tandem Mouse, one of my favorite Pokemon from the Paldea region. And a low kick and a Thweevil. Energy, put that in the filing cabinet. Whew, a little rough on that one. Booster bundle is up next. I got my trusty Celebi pin to help me open it up. And I'm going to be honest with you all. I kind of try to stay away from booster bundles uh, just because I feel like I always have horrible luck with them. I feel like the pull rates are just kind of horrendous <laughs> with them. Um, that is probably just my luck because at the end of the day, like... Pokemon cards is just like all kind of luck of the draw, right? It's just it's just all about luck. Um, but when it comes to my luck and booster bundles, they're, they're just not there for me. They're literally just not there for me. And I would not be surprised if we open up this entire booster bundle and uh, don't pull a single ultra rare because it happens to me all the time with booster bundles. Energy, put that in the filing cabinet. Ting Lu, don't feel like I pulled a lot of hollow rare Ting Lu's uh, in this set, we got Rimmeraid, Pumpkaboo, Halloween's over, sorry, not too. Fly away, bird! Fly away, be a bird! Be yourself, alright? I wouldn't tell a bird to be a crocodile. No, and a bird wouldn't want to be a crocodile. Be yourself! I know this might sound just very, just like, oh, that's an obvious thing to say, right? It's easier said than done. I get it. It's easier said than done, but trust me. Always be yourself and be true to yourself, all right? Be true to you. Don't let yourself down. Don't let your future self down, all right? You're amazing. You're wonderful. You're beautiful just the way you are. And please don't let anybody tell you any differently. There's always going to be bullies out there, unfortunately. The best thing to do is just don't, don't, don't pay attention to what they say. Um... And at the end of the day, I always try to return kindness. Even if somebody's being rude to me, I always try to return kindness back to them. Um, just because I feel like if someone's rude to you, you're rude back. It's just, it's a never ending cycle. And uh, I don't know. It's just kind of how I view things. Obviously, like I said, easier said than done. But uh, I don't know. If it works for you, it works for you. Um, just trying to give some advice. That's all. That's all. Hopefully, hopefully it helps some of you. But at the end of the day, what I'm saying is be true to yourself. All right. Be you. We got Nimble, Crobat, and don't listen to the haters. Don't listen to them. We got Blipbug and Iron Moth. Now, as you see here, <laughs> this booster bundle, we went through this entire thing. Like I said, not a single ultra rare. And this happens to me every time with booster bundles. I don't know what it is. They're just... They're not lucky for me, personally. We got a Dottler going into an Absol. 
this is exactly what I'm saying, breaking family, exactly what I'm saying. Energy, put that in the filing cabinet. It's why I stay away from them. Now, surely there'll be better luck inside of the Paradox Rift Elite Trainer Box opening right here. I'm gonna put that back there ever so carefully. We all know science, right? That when cardboard hits carpet, explosions happen, all right? It's just science. I don't know what it is. It must be something to do with the friction. Um, that's a big word there, but it must be something to do with that would be would be my guess honestly There's the code card right there got the code cards in every single video I never keep them always give them to you the breaking family Do me a favor if you are new here hit that subscribe button become part of the breaking family a nice positive environment Where we always leave the negativity at the door. There's enough negativity in the world. Why do we want to add more to it? We don't we don't we just want to hang out enjoy some Pokemon have a good time, have a good laugh or two. Not pull anything from a booster bundle. Hey, there we go, there we go. Elite Trainer Box is already starting off strong with a Skeleturge EX Energy. Put that in the filing cabinet right there. Whew, all right, there we go. That makes up, that makes up for the booster bundle. Whoop. All right, all right. The Pokemon card opening continues. We got three kind of ultra rare pulls right here. Those are considered, what, double rare? And then Ultra Rare, right? We got Yamask, Simipore, Zeep Striker, Onyx, and a Brute Bonnet. Obviously, all the regular rares are now hollow. There's no non hollow rares inside of uh, Pokemon packs anymore since the Scarlet and Violet base set. So if you are new to Pokemon cards, just know if you buy a Scarlet. And there we go, Breaking Family. I told you it was going to happen. Literally told you this was gonna happen. Did I not say when I traded for these cards, the two biggest cards from the set, that I was gonna go home and that I was going to pull one of them? Well, there you go, Breaking Family. Roaring Moon has been pulled. I traded off a Charizard for it, but it's okay. It went to a friend that loves Charizard. Woo, all right, all right, all right, Breaking Family. That's what I'm talking about right there. Good pull, good pull, woo. Okay, all right, there we go, there we go. Ah, oh, ooh, I'm getting getting all getting all loose enough right here. All right, all right, stir the pot, stir the good luck pot. Run around the room, get some of that energy out right there. Hopefully you uh, did a nice little jog there with me. It's a double, so it's gonna go in my trade binder. I wonder if I could trade this to somebody that, that needs it and that I can in return get some Paradox Rift cards that I need and add them to the binder. Whoop. Hmm, all right, all right. That's a good idea, that's a good idea. Going into the next one, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was going to happen. We got Tandem Mouse, Dweeble. I guess what I should do is open up the packs and then go trade. <laughs> uh, it's, it's no big deal. Honestly, it really is no big deal. It doesn't bother me at all because uh, friend got Charizard that absolutely loves Charizard. So at the end of the day, everybody kind of gets something that they want and that they need. We got a Miltank going into a Cyclozar. I just think it's funny because I literally said that was going to happen. And that's exactly energy what happened right there. Continuing on, here we go. I mean, it's literally the biggest card from the set. Like a biggest card that you can pull right there. We literally pulled it. The special illustration Roaring Moon EX card has been pulled. Surskit, number one in the set. We got Durant, Medical Energy, and a Sandy Shocks EX. We don't need the Sandy Shocks, so that is a double as well. You know, I don't know about all of you. Whoop. What I have noticed, though, is that as the sets start to progress, going into, you know, getting farther into... Uh, Scarlet and Violet, the illustration rares, just the regular illustration rares are getting harder to pull. And I'm almost pulling more like special illustrations, golds and full arts than I am just regular illustration rares. Like the pull rates are on, the, on those feel crazy low. I don't know if that's just me. Another card I just traded for, Garchomp EX. There we go, Breaking Family Energy. Another pull right there, another Ultra Rare pull with the Garchomp EX. Whoop! This Elite Trainer box has been stacked. It has been stacked so far. Look at this. All of these 
from the Elite Trainer Box has been pulled so far. Four pulls. Four pulls. We're still not done opening up the booster packs. We still have more to go. It, can it be possible that there's more inside of these uh, these last two packs from the box? We got Dairy Queen going into a Glysaur and an Iron Moth. I feel like just an illustration rare. Just an illustration rare inside of this pack right here. I feel like my voice is going out. All right, here we go. We have a Spinda Nimble going into a Vanillish. Illustration rare. No, not a single one, but hey, we got that Roaring Moon though. All right, we got four more packs, one of each artwork. Let's see if we can continue the luck right there. And I will say a brand new episode of Hidden Pokemon Cards is happening this week. The longest running series on the channel where we go to the store and we look for the booster packs and the Mousehold EX. <laughs> nice ultra rare goodness. Where we look for the packs of Pokemon cards, boxes, tins that have been lost to the test of time. Whoop. We look all around the store. We lift up the shelves at Target and Walmart. We try to figure out what's underneath the shelves. If something's been sitting there for a long time, those are the packs we want and those are the packs that we go after. I think it's episode number 81. We've literally been doing hidden Pokemon cards here on this channel since 2017. Literally the longest running series here on this channel. It's all your favorite. It's my favorite as well. New episode this weekend and I'm telling you, it's a fun one. It's a fun one. It's, gonna, it's a good time and you'll have a good laugh as well. What in the world is happening? Are you kidding me right now? What? <laughs> what is happening? Why, why would I pull both of them? One of them? Okay, I can take it. I can take one of them being pulled after I traded for it. But both of them? Literally both of them after I traded for them? Oh! What in the world is that all about? <laughs> the two biggest cards from the set. I literally just pulled both of them after I traded for both of them. How does this happen? How does this happen? Well, it's going in my trade binder now and I, I'm, I'm going to trade somebody. Whoop. The next time, uh, obviously I do all my trades in person. Energy. Uh, okay. <laughs> How does this happen? How does that happen in one Pokemon opening? One Pokemon card opening. Literally pull both of them. How does that happen? Somebody tell me. What are the odds? There's math involved. Nope. Okay, hang on. There's numbers. There's plus signs. There's division signs. Hang on. Hang on. We'll get out of this together. Hang on. <coughs> hang on. One more. <coughs> All right. Got stuck in the math hole. Continuing on. Two more. Two more. Let's, uh... Opening Pokemon cards can be really interesting sometimes. Galvantula, Mantike, going into Panseer, and a low kick for the rare energy. Put that in the filing cabinet. Anyways, hidden Pokemon cards this week. Turn on your notifications so you do not miss it. I'm telling you, it's going to be a good one. I'll put the last episode up on the end screen so you can kind of catch up. There's an entire playlist with every episode. If you want to watch all of that, it goes all the way back to 2017. We got a Yamask going into a Chantel, Porygon Z, and Breaking Family. We are ending on... Can I get a drum roll, please? Thank you. And Breaking Family. We are ending on... Bug and Steelix, you both ruined the party. Breaking family, that's it for today's Pokemon video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out the rest of the videos right over there. We'll see you all in the next video. And don't forget, I love every single one of you all around the world. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.